In this video, we will learn about time measurement units. Tomorrow is Sher Khan's birthday. Sher Khan is very excited for his birthday. Just as he woke up, he immediately saw the time in the clock next to him. Sher Khan started wondering, why there are three hands in the clock? Kids, do you know? What are the three hands in a clock for? The thinnest hand in the clock tells time in seconds. Second is the smallest unit of time measured. The longest hand like this gives time in minutes. 60 seconds are added to make one minute. And the smallest hand of the clock shows the time in hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Children, can you see how fast the needle of the second hand has turned in one minute? And the minute hand has only reached only here in one minute. And the minute hand has completed a complete round in one hour. But the hour hand has only reached here. Today, Sher Khan also finished brushing his teeth and bathing in just 30 minutes. It takes him at least an hour to do these everyday tasks. Today, Sher Khan had breakfast in minutes and went to school. Sher Khan's mother was surprised. How Sher Khan went to school today without making excuses? Then she remembered that all this is probably because there is only one day left for Sher Khan's birthday. Do you know that one day is made by total 24 hours? As soon as Sher Khan reached school, he invited all his friends to come to his birthday party the next day at his house. Golu said excitedly that his birthday too is coming next month. And he will also throw a party like Sher Khan. Kids, do you know how long is one month? That's correct. There are 28 to 31 days in a month. Sher Khan told his friends that he is very excited for his birthday. He was looking forward to his birthday for whole one year. After all, he has only one day left for his birthday. Do you know how many months a year is off? Absolutely right. One year contains total 12 months. All friends are very excited to go to Sher Khan's birthday party. They all told Sher Khan that they would definitely come to celebrate his birthday. And will also bring a special gift. How was the preparation of Sher Khan's birthday? And what gift has his friends brought for his party? We will see in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learned about time measurement units. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples.
Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned about time measurement units. In this video, we will learn about how long it takes to do different tasks. Today is Sher Khan's birthday. Everyone has been preparing for his birthday since morning. Sher Khan's mother planted a tree in her garden when he was born. Now, there are beautiful flowers on that tree. Children, do you know how long it takes for a tree to grow? Seconds? Minutes? Or years? All right. It takes years to grow trees. Sheer Khan's mother is preparing for the party. She will cook a lot of dishes. She is now thinking that only a few hours left for the guests to arrive. Will she be able to do all the preparations by then? What do you think, kids? How long does it take to cook delicious dishes? Months? Hours? Or second? Well done, kids! You have found the right answer. It takes a few hours to cook delicious dishes. She prepared delicious dishes with the help of her cook. Kids, here are few tasks related to Sher Khan's birthday written here. Can you connect these tasks with their units of time? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids! You have found the correct answers. All the preparations were done. And all the guests have arrived. But what's this? Why did Golu take so long to come? When Sher Khan asked his reason for being late, Golu tells him that he was stuck in traffic due to the construction of a new bridge near his house. Kids, can you tell how long it takes to build a bridge? Correct! It takes months to build a bridge. Golu also joined the party. And all the friends celebrated Sher Khan's birthday grandly. Kids, in this video, we learned about some interesting examples of how long it takes to do different tasks. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to it. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned about how long it takes to do different tasks. In this video, we will see some misconceptions related to it. Today, all the friends have decided to play cricket. All of them gathered in the field. But... Uh, where is Bablu? Look, Bablu comes here now gasping. When everyone asked him why he was late, Bablu said that he woke up at 9 and then it took him 15 minutes to bathe. So he was late. Raju told him that he too woke up at 9 a.m. But he took a quick shower in 5 minutes. So he reached the ground on time. Bablu was shocked. He told Raju 
when both he and Raju bathed in minutes. Then how did Raju reach there before? Kids, did Raju and Bablu take equal time to bathe? They didn't. Even though Raju and Bablu bathed within minutes, the amount of time they took is not the same. Raju took 5 minutes to bathe, while Bablu took 15 minutes. 5 or 15 minutes? Which one is greater? Exactly! 15. So, who took longer to bathe? Bablu. Raju explained this to Bablu. The game started. Everyone enjoyed the game very much. When the game was over, Raju told Bablu that why don't they both go to Babban's ice cream stall and eat ice cream? Bablu tells him that he's thirsty. Raju tells him that he too is feeling really sweaty. Then both of them decided to go to Raju's house first. Raju can wash his face there and Bablu can drink water. Raju and Bablu reach Raju's house. Bablu, as soon as they reached there, went to kitchen to drink water. And Raju went to the bathroom to wash his face. Bablu returned after drinking water from the kitchen. But Raju did not return after washing his face. Bablu thought that both of them should have taken equal time to drink water and wash their face. So why is Raju taking so long? Kids, is Bablu thinking correctly? Does it take equal time to drink water and washing up? Bablu is thinking wrong. It only takes a few seconds to drink water. But washing up takes several minutes. So Bablu and Raju will not take the same amount of time. Remember kids, it takes different time to do different tasks. Finally, Raju returned after washing himself up and they both went to eat ice cream at Babban's ice cream stall. Kids, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to how long does it take to do different tasks?